Right, quick short video about the power valves on the KR1S. Um, as you can see, they've been put into the barrel. These are rotating cylinders with a, trans a port cut through them. They fit into the, into the barrel. They've got little flats on them. These are actually the wrong way up. If anybody's watching already and knows this, they'll see that straight away. But it's just to sort of show how they're going. So they slot into here. They sit this way around. When the engine revs rise, there's a mechanism on here, which I'll show later as I build it, which turns these side to side. There are some ports up in the barrel here, these top ports, and they essentially open and shut those. If they're shut, the engine has better low end power because it's only using the central exhaust port, which has less area. As they open and the revs rise and the engine needs to get more exhaust gas through, they open, this one does this side port, this one does this side port. They open two windows, one at that side, one at that side pretty much giving the exhaust area, I think it's about an extra third of area, so the engine can force more ga exhaust gas out and rev higher and rev faster. So what it does in essence is give the engine good low end power when it's shut and good high end revs when it's open, so the best of both worlds. Um, and then, to improve the system even more, Kawasaki designed this power valve system and it's exceptionally clever compared to some of the other ones that are out there from the other manufacturers. This valve here simply opens and shuts the window as it turns either way. This valve though, shuts the port in one direction and redirects the gas through this little window, the one down here, into what will be, and you'll see later, a chamber bolted on. That increases the volume of the exhaust. Now, this is about which I don't get, two-stroke exhausts are a black art wizardry to me. Um, but the general principle is it changes the exhaust area and resonance, so helps to improve the bottom end power even more. So you can tune the engine to have a lot of top end power, which would normally reduce the low end revs power. But with this little system, you can give it practically power all the way through. Um, it's very clever, it's not as complicated as people think, it takes a lot of setting up to get it right, these have to be in the right direction, lots of wheels to put on, but clever little system and works really well.